you know, one of the most powerful uh, things that goes on in our physiology that amps up inflammation is high uric acid. Uric acid is powerfully inflammatory, powerfully increases uh, the production of free radicals, incredibly important in increasing uh, insulin resistance, compromises something called nitric oxide. So reduces our blood vessels ability to expand, reduces blood supply to our organs, reduces how insulin works by virtue of inhibiting nitric oxide. So you know, it's a, it's a bad player in the context of our current lifestyle, that's for sure. The uric acid turns out to be a powerful lever we can pull to help improve our metabolism, along with many other things that people know about. Getting enough sleep, uh, doing the exercise, all the things. Uric acid is now uh, on the table. It's in our, it's a new tool in the toolbox. What raises uric acid is fructose, alcohol, and purines. Mostly in our diets, it's the fructose as found in fruit juice and in sodas. Fruit, reasonable amounts, is totally fine. It is offset in terms of raising uric acid by the vitamin C, the bioflavonoids, and the fiber that all work to lower uric acid. Purine-rich foods include things like organ meats, uh, small fish, sardines, anchovies, herring. Can you eat them? Yes, you can eat them. But Measure your own uric acid level and see if it's affecting you, like eating foods and watching your blood sugar on your continuous glucose monitor. You can buy a uric acid monitor online, on Amazon or online, other places, and have it at your home in a couple of days. They're not hugely expensive, and it's a finger stick, just like uh, measuring your blood glucose. Uh, a couple of key supplements, quercetin, 500 milligrams a day, a luteolin, another bioflavonoid, 100 milligrams per day. DHA, mostly from fish oil, but there are vegetarian sources, 1,000 milligrams per day. Chlorella vulgaris, or just typical chlorella, that's the Latin name, 1,000 milligrams per day. And finally, good old vitamin C helps us excrete uric acid, 500 milligrams per day. Now, what a person might need to do to get her uric uh, acid level below 5.5, or his uric acid level below 5.5, same for men and women, uh, will be determined by measuring the uric acid level. But uh, now keep in mind that high uric acid paves the way for metabolic mayhem in terms of blood pressure, body weight, um, dyslipidemia, elevated triglycerides, uh, and even insulin resistance. We've got to rein in our metabolism powerful tool for longevity and not just living a long life, but a healthy life. And, you know, the body work is so important as well as, gosh, Aaron, you've made so clear to us over so many years. Their uric acid, an incredible study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, treated uh, pre-hypertensive adolescents who had elevated uric acid with a, a, a drug, a, a gout drug, to lower their uric acid, and lo and behold, their blood pressures improved. So it's a very, very big deal. And we can dramatically impact uric acid with quercetin, uh, you know, with luteolin, which uh, we could talk about quercetin uh, for our next hour together in terms of all the cool things that it does. That's one of my showcase supplements these days, that's for sure.